What's up everybody? I'm City Goodman and today's daily fix, the Xbox Series X is really fast. You can potentially play Red Dead Redemption 2 for free and your Fallout 76 loot might be in danger. Roll the thing. Is that Sonic the really fast hedgehog? No, it's not. It's an Xbox Series X. That joke doesn't land at all because people don't associate Sonic with the Xbox. Like at all. Anyway, we now know that the Xbox Series X loads Gears 5 four times faster than the Xbox One without a single change to the game's code, meaning this is all hardware babies. In an interview with Windows Central, the Coalition's Mike Rayner talked about just how much the studio is getting out of the upcoming console. Quote, we reduced our load times by more than four times without any code changes. He goes on to pinpoint the new direct storage APIs and hardware decompression, which improves IO performance and reduces CPU overhead, which equals faster loading. As an aside, Gears 5 will be a launch game for the Series X and will be available as a free upgrade to people who already have the game, which is very cool. And for those of you wondering, back in 2019, we got a glimpse into the PS5's load times from a Wired interview with Mark Cerny. PS5's lead system architect. He showed up PS5 load times with Spider-Man. The PS4 Pro took 15 seconds to fast travel, while the next-gen PlayStation dev kit took 0.8 seconds. That's 18 times faster than a PS4 Pro, which is very fast. It's super exciting to think about what this could mean for next-gen games like Halo Infinite or the next Rockstar game. I personally am so enticed by Halo Infinite on the Series X that that'll be where my priority lies, but I'm hoping to cop both the PlayStation 5 and Series X eventually. Is my undying loyalty to Halo clouding my vision? Which next-gen console are you gearing up for? Let me know in the comments. Speaking of Rockstar games, Rockstar is shaking things up on Xbox Game Pass. As of May 7th, Xbox Game Pass subscribers will be able to play Red Dead Redemption 2 for free. The more unfortunate other side of the coin is that GTA 5 will be leaving the subscription service that same day. But RDR2, that is a solid exchange, right? We gave the sprawling Western epic a rare 10 out of 10 IGN, and it was our game of the year runner-up behind God of War in 2018. The good news is, if you missed your chance to play GTA 5 on Game Pass, you not only still have a few weeks to play, but you'll be able to cop it for 20% off if you decide to buy it. Okay, now the question for all of you is which is better, RDR2 or GTA 5? My personal vote is GTA 5, but I haven't been known to love cowboys, so let me know. Fallout 76 is a game that some might say has had a bumpy ride, but Sydney, the Wastelanders update finally gave us NPCs. Yes, you are correct. And now those NPCs are permanently stealing your stuff. It's unintentional though. Bethesda is currently investigating a bug reported by players on Fallout 76's Reddit where NPCs are looting items from their cold, dead corpses and not giving them back. Based on some Redditors' posts, the gist is they die and then upon waking up, find that the guns and ammo they had are missing from their inventory. Then, folks notice that the same gun was then being used by a nearby NPC, which suggests that it's been looted from the player's corpse upon death. The issue is that the NPCs can't be looted back, so players are permanently losing these items. A few Redditors have singled out the event missions, Radiation Rumble, and Riding Shotgun as being a particular source for the bug. So you might want to avoid those for now, but a Bethesda community manager has confirmed that they, quote, will investigate this immediately. And that's Daily Fix. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now they're all caught up on the news. Check out our video on Flight Simulator's massive install size, like more than 100 gigabytes massive install size. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to Daily Fix on Snapchat for all things everything else. IGN.com.